Morning. This is Nita and Miss Panda with the Time Peace Garden. I don't know if you saw it. There's a squirrel that just went up that tree. <laughs> She's down there watching him jump from branch to branch. She's like, just come back down. I want to play with you. Hey, right. Yeah. What's all that white stuff? Whew. It's 31 degrees outside. Had to restock the wood stack. It's cold outside. It's, you know, we're supposed to hit a high of 34. I wouldn't wait until 34. It's lunchtime. I was like, screw it. Let's just go out and stack the wood. Get a stack in the house. Whew, it is cold outside. I had gloves on and a jacket, and I'm still cold. Whew. It's woof, woof, woof. What can I say? All right. Y'all stay warm. And I'll talk to you later. All right, this is just one of those quick short videos um, that again shows why I have a hoop tunnel. You can still see where I've got like like frozen water running. Um, I've not been above freezing since yesterday. You can see there that's, that's ice hanging off the plastic. Um, again, I've not been above freezing since yesterday, but you come in here and it's not freezing. It's chilly, but it's not freezing. All the way down to the my tubs, that's all liquid water. None of that's frozen. Even the one that's almost empty, none of that's frozen. Um, and that's what it does in here. I know that sounds crazy. When the, when the sun hits the plastic, it heats it up. This heats up the ground temperature and the water. So when the air temperature outside gets cold, does that make sense? The air temperature inside gets cold. But the air goes cold first, then the water, then the ground. And that's why everything that, that will tolerate cold and still grow well are just, you know, in here doing awesome. You know, even the even the baby purple orchards I showed you the other day when I was harvesting are just like, there's no cold damage, there's no freeze, there's no frost. You know, they're doing fine. Baby spinaches are still doing fine. Yeah, I know I got a weed there I need to get rid of. Not today. Um, just kind of showing, you know, if the ground is still, is still temperature warm and that's why the experiment with the peppers are, I may lose the leaves. I expect to lose leaves. I expect them to go into a winter hibernation. Um, but I expect them to come back early. I expect to be harvesting peppers when people are talking about planting their peppers next spring. So anyway, I still got to remember to get a, a thermometer out here so I can hang it so I can see how much how warmer it stays. All right, again, just a quick one. I'm going back to the house. Y'all have a awesome day.